One year later, I get the filter 0% remaining on this uh, air filter. And um, I already bought another one, uh, which I thought it was an original one, but it's not. And we're gonna see what's the difference between these two, the original one and the fake one. And um, let's have a look. Oh, let's, I'm gonna turn it down. I don't have to turn it off, but I like to do it. So you just press open. And here you have the original one. This is one year later. This is not very dirty because I've been applying some uh, cotton sheets around it, some proper cotton sheets. And um, about every two months I remove each uh, cotton sheet. Uh, what this does, it's the cotton sheet actually captures the big particles, but remember the smaller particles will go through the cotton and will uh, actually end up in the filter. So this, that doesn't mean that this filter is cleaner. It may not have big particles, but small particles, they're all here because they pass the cotton sheet. This, uh, although it looks clean, remember this is not clean. I just added the cotton sheets uh, in a way I could, this way I could actually remove the dust from the filter and let the filter have only the small parts. Um, it was an option uh, that I decided to do. Uh, so that's why this, this uh, looks so clean. Uh, this is the original one. And um, let me see here if I can show you. I'm going to put this a little bit back here. I'm going to show you the other one. The other one came in one of these boxes. I thought this was an original one, but it's not. I'm going to show you one big difference. I already tried to peel it. See, at the bottom of the original one, you have a sticker, RFID. It says do not remove because this is how it identifies that this is an original one. And uh, this one doesn't have it. It says made in China, nothing else. Although this is not original, this actually comes with with a different core. So we have like one filter inside the other, while this one doesn't have. It has, well, I don't know if it's better or if it's worse, it's a different design. And um, it's only one piece. It looks like the, this filter is already built in this, uh, this part or something like that. I don't know if this is a carbon filter because I don't remember when I bought it, um, but uh, it looks nice. This is the normal paper, paper filter, and this is the, like, I think it's carbon, at least the color looks carbon, but we never know because this could be a, a copy of a carbon filter that actually isn't. So let me see, it says something here, replace after every three to six months. That's probably about the same. They are exactly the same. They probably come from the same manufacturer. Oh, this is this is a cheap copy. You can ha you can actually have actually write down the date here. We won't be able to see it on camera. Start month, day, year. So you can write it down here and know when you replaced it. Or you don't have to care because this will tell you. We're gonna. Install official filter. I'm going to show you here. Install an official filter. So it detects there's no RFID, so it's, it says in install the original one. Okay, I've got my app here, and the filter here says filter 100%, estimated lifespan 146 days. So the lifespan of the non original one. Uh, it shortens down. Um, well, that's the um, that's probably because it can't detect an original one, and it, it won't estimate the lifetime as it does with the, with that one. But other than that, 
it works. It gives you a warning when you start up, but um, nothing else, nothing else of a uh, big hassle. So, I hope you enjoyed it. So remember, if you want to use a, a not an original one, you can do it. It will warn you earlier that the filter is uh, has reached the, the lifespan. But other than that, everything else works. So thank you for watching. See you next time.